Lady of Minnesota and the wife of Vice President Harris's running mate is campaigning in Pennsylvania this week as well. Gwen Walls was in Harrisburg today. Mallory Metzner joins us from the state capitol. Mallory. Alicia, it is crunch time for candidates to gain voters. Pennsylvania is a big swing state with 19 electoral college votes. Gwen Walls highlighted the importance of Pennsylvania in the upcoming election. A new way forward is within our reach. It is right there but we are going to have to fight for it. With 21 days until Election Day, Minnesota's First Lady campaigns in Harrisburg on behalf of her husband, Governor Tim Walls, and his running mate, Kamala Harris. For nine long years, Trump has been trying to divide us. Local leaders set the stage for Gwen Walls. Kick Trump out. Party doesn't matter to Ann Leffler. I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walz and Patty Kim and all the other Democrats down the line. And I can tell you I'm a Republican. Longtime teacher Mrs. Walls says Harris and Tim Walls plan to fight for middle class families to get tax cuts and lower health care. Trump and Vance are not fighting for us. That's clear. They are fighting for themselves. They're fighting for their rich donors and their extreme allies. And what they're offering with that Project 2025 agenda, no one is asking for. Donald Trump says he will not be an abortion. Republican political consultant Chris Nicholas says Project 2025 is just a way to deliver an anti-Republican message. The fact that Trump has disavowed it and the fact that it was done by an outside group is kind of immaterial now. Nicholas says most voters view Donald Trump as better on economic issues. He says that's why the presidential race will be tight. When you get to the spouses of the VP candidates, um, they're not going to command uh, the large presence that their spouses or the top of the ticket would. But they're really good at thanking volunteers, keeping them energized. Uh, going after the media talking points of the day. The clock is ticking for voters to make a decision, and Pennsylvania is a state that is a must win. Whether or not having the wife of a vice presidential candidate here changes anyone's mind, Nicholas says it does energize volunteers to talk up their candidates and go door knocking, which he says does have an impact. Live at the state capitol, Mallory Metzner, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Mallory.